Mac, fresh locally grown food is now available to astronauts aboard the International Space Station. For the first time, they've sampled red lettuce grown aboard that station. They harvested the produce as part of a NASA plan experiment. Let's bring in retired NASA astronaut Leroy Chow for more on this. He joins us from, via Sky from Dubai. Leroy, we've got Greek salad, we've got Caesar salad, now we've got space salad. How did they do it? Well, we've been growing plants and doing experiments for a number of decades, both uh, the Americans and the Russians and uh, Europeans as well. And so, uh, you know, we're just kind of continuing to push the boundaries of what's possible. Uh, this is a bit larger scale than normal, and so I'm glad that uh, they got to get a little bit of fresh vegetables on board. It's always exciting when the resupply ship comes. We get fresh fruit, fresh, fresh vegetables, uh, something with a little bit of crisp and a little bit of flavor. And can you tell us why lettuce? Of all the vegetables they could have chose, why did they choose to try that one first? Well, we've tried to grow different things. When I was on the International Space Station, we were growing uh, uh, little pea pods, and uh, they seem to take a bit longer to grow in space than on the ground. There are special challenges. Uh, you know, these plants, they have um, in their roots, they have gravity-sensing organs, much like we do, so that the roots know which way is down, which way to grow. In space, of course, that doesn't work, and so we have to, and we don't have soil, so we have to grow them what's called hydroponically without soil, and so it prevents, presents a lot of different challenges. And so we saw the uh, astronauts trying the lettuce. Uh, what's been the verdict? Uh, I think uh, what I've seen from their tweets is that they like it. Uh, of course, like I said, you're eating uh, freeze-dried food or uh, thermostabilized food or canned food. So anything fresh is a nice change. And we've spoken about uh, some of the failed missions in the past. Uh, quite recently, quite a few uh, failed missions where they've been trying to restock the International Space Station. The supplies haven't quite got there. How important is this going to be long term? Well, this is a very long term kind of a thing in that, uh, uh, you know, growing plants, if you're talking about them replacing food, it's uh, if you look at the caloric value of all the lettuce they grew, I'm sure it's not that big. And so, yeah, we're going to have to have resupply ships. And you're right. We have had a string of problems. Fortunately, the last Russian ship did get on board and dock OK. And uh, I'm confident that uh, uh, SpaceX and Orbital will figure their problems out and continue to, to supply the space station as well. So what sort of veggies could be next? Well, I think uh, I think it's wide open. I mean, uh, you know, once you learn how to grow plants in space, uh, there is no reason you couldn't adapt almost any plant to grow in space. And of course, you're always going to be surprised. That's the nature of research. But uh, uh, one step at a time. As far as when we're going to have a space garden, I mean, a real one that you could really harvest just like at home, just think about how big that has to be, that plot of land. So who knows? Maybe someday on Mars, uh, we might be able to make it work. But uh, it's a little bit out there. A little bit out there, as is space. I heard Scott Kelly say uh, the lettuce tasted like arugula, or as we call it in Australia, rocket. <laughs> rocket, Le right. <laughs> Leroy Chow, thanks so much for joining us today. We appreciate it. My pleasure. Good to be with you. And that does it for this edition of CNN News Center. I'm Linda Kincaid, live from the CNN World Headquarters.